Hello everybody, today on the table I have this device, it's battery tester, DC programmable electronic load, here's the power supply for it, not for loading of course, but for powering the brains. The man who brought it to me said that it turns on, the screen turns on, you can push some buttons, but when you put the load, it's not loading the battery. Let's try what we have. This is the original battery, 12 volts, 2 amps. Probably it's good if... Okay. It's loading a torch. We have voltage. Some voltage. <laughs> when I when I touch it, I've got it has some voltage. If I shirt it, still some voltage. Okay, for testing, I've got those batteries from an old laptop battery let's try the battery let's check it whether it's okay or not has some voltage on it and 3.78 I think that should be enough for checking oh, that's a plus that is the minus, and it shows shows quite a good 3.8, almost the same as my multimeter. So, how do we gonna turn it on? Probably like this. I've never actually had anything like this so minutes that's the current current set okay constant current I don't really know how to turn it on, but it has to be this button. I've this is how we set the current, probably. No, not ten amps. No. Oh, this one is for moving back and forth and probably I should put 500 milliamps and start to discharge it but the man who brought it to me said it's not working so I think he knows better okay let's check why it is not starting let's see together what we have on this side we have no components and from things I can see we have only Sorry for not focusing. Okay. Let's try to zoom it. Maybe it would be better to show it like this. I don't know. Or maybe not. The quality would be worse. So here we have some MOSFETs probably. Some resistors. But 
the resistors looks fine anyway we should remove this one the fan and see but actually uh, there is only one component could be seen there and it's some kind of transistor okay let's remove the fan and see what's behind it okay four screws are unscrewed and let's remove the fan not too much absolutely not too much some drivers the transistor and it seems a little fuse let's see those resistors oh sorry you don't see you don't see it and Resistors are good. What about this tiny fuse? And it is good. It is good. Let's see the this one. And it's not short. At least seems like oh it is short. It is shorted. Yeah. Drain to source. But sometimes it can be really tricky. You can when you check it, you can open the transistor and then you think it's shorted, but actually it's not. So, just to make sure we short gate with drain and source and check it one more time and make sure that this is this is short it let's check this one by the way what it is seems like also transistor but I suppose it acts like a diet because here we have two maybe it is a diet it is a diet with yeah probably it is a diet and let's Check it. Good from this side. And this diet is good. So let's unsolder this guy. even the hole not the hole but the burnt mark you see that's where to magic smoke came this is this is the the little hole or you cannot see it unfortunately but it's here
it's here and the model if is IRF P260 probably probably I even have this one in stock kind of no it's not it's not IRF maybe IRF yes IRF P260 let's let's check do I have this okay I found the same one not a new one but hopefully I'm pretty sure not hopefully pretty sure it's gonna serve so drain to source is it it is it really no oh, probably the crack is the crack is here here's can you see it yeah probably that's the crack drained drained to source and probably it's even not a short but open circuit you see what about this and this one shows a built-in MOSFET and what if we check to the gate open oh so from the middle leg to the gate it's a short and a good one the gate is isolated but probably we have to check we should find the ground I suppose and check the gate so here is the ground here is the ground this one so the gate would be the gate would be the gate would be the gate would be this one and so gate is not shorted at least it doesn't look short shorted so probably we we're gonna be fine I hope we are gonna be fine Let's see, we've got one amp, 
turn it on and it rises slowly and so this one is actually really precise this one is really precise hmm. so device is working I don't know the fan is not spinning because the load is too slow too low sorry rises and one amp remove the load zero amps okay this one is fixed oh really stupid me I forgot to to get the fan but this one is not even slightly warm probably Let's test it one more time. Test it one more time then. Turn it on. It was turned on. Still the fan is not spinning. Probably there is some some thermal switch. Or maybe when a special current, special power is being drawn probably more than 10 watts it started to turn on because this heatsink probably dis easily dissipates even I think 50 watts of power without any fan needed so I don't really know the necessity to turn it on one amp, really precise. Okay, one more time. This guy is fixed. Pretty easy. Only one and channel MOSFET 200 volts, 40 something amps. Thanks for watching. Like it and subscribe if you like it this kinds of videos there would be more and now that's it have a good day bye